Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Kelly and I have a sewing and embroidery business. And today I wanna to show you guys how I make, sorry, let me put this down. There's these super cute little um, mini composition notebook covers. So sweet. I'm making three of them for um, my cousin's kids as a thank you. Um, and these turned out really great. This is my first time using this pattern. This pattern is from Parker on the Porch. Uh, I highly recommend their Facebook group. There's a lot of good information. You can um, see like um, coupons and sales and all of that. Uh, I don't exactly remember how much this was. Um, her stuff is a little, you know, higher priced than some of the other ones, but they are really good quality. And like this one, you get um, several different sizes. Um, so these are the mini composition notebooks. You can make them for the big um, composition notebooks, but um, I just thought, why waste all that vinyl? I mean, they're little girls. So why waste all that vinyl? Let's do a little bitty one. Um, I got the comp, the, just the blank composition notebooks from, um, Amazon. I'll have the link down below. Um, but they just slide in these little pockets that you create with, um, actually let me take this out cause I want to show you guys. So all I used for these, all you need is your composition notebook. You need some marine vinyl. I had bought some vinyl from my punk embroidery that I had intended to use for these. It was not marine vinyl. It was a little bit, I don't know what, I don't remember what kind it was, but it was a little too thin, I thought. Um, it's really cute. I'll use it for something different, but um, didn't quite work for these. Or I, did, I mean, I didn't try it because I thought, eh, we'll use marine vinyl. So I got the marine vinyl at um, Hobby Lobby. I think they have it at Joann's. Um, the lady at Hobby Lobby was not very nice, so I will not be buying from her again. Um, but so the vinyl and then, um, some tearaway stabilizer. This is just the cheapy stuff that comes on a roll at, um, Walmart. Now you can line these. I did not, um, because I don't know. I just, it seemed pointless to me. Um, so you can line it to where there's some fabric showing here rather than the back of your stitching. Um, but once you get your notebook in there, you can't see that. I mean, it looks cute, but, um, so if you're, if you intend to do that, you'll need, um, some fabric for that. The instructions, I don't know. I had a hard time. The, the only thing I did not like about their instructions was it didn't really, or else I was looking in the wrong place. I didn't see where it said like what size to cut your vinyl, um, which would have been helpful, but um, this is, you know, the, the it does tell you the finished dimensions, so you can kind of work off of that. Uh, this is like seven by, you know, three and a half this way. Um, oh, that's the other thing. I did see similar at Walmart that were cheaper, but they didn't quite look the right size to me. They looked maybe a little bit smaller. So check your sizes like these say on the composition notebook. Um, and then like I said, you can do a larger one. You can do some other options too. Like there's a few different sizes um, with the design you get and then it comes with your stripes and then all you have to do is add the name. So we'll go over to the computer real quick. There's not really much to show you there other than I, I want to remind you of one thing you have to do when you add the name. So let's go over there and take a look at that. Okay, so here's what it looks like in Embrilliance and I'm actually going to go ahead and open up a new one to show you guys the changes that I made. Um, nothing major other than the colors. Um, the rainbow is really cute and I spent a lot of time trying to decide what to do, but I went with this. So the only thing that I did different is I took out, there's a couple steps 
that I did not need. Um, I forgot to mention that the pattern, um, let me get the actual, so you can make this with a little um, piece of fold over elastic right here that then wraps around this like a little band to keep it closed. I didn't do that because, I mean, I could have done it up here or what, I don't know. Well, first of all, I did not have any fold over elastic. And second of all, I just didn't want to do it. Um, I didn't like the look as much as this. So uh, if you don't want to do those, you can go and delete it. Um, and there's just two steps um, to delete that. And then also, I forgot to mention, even though I didn't do the lining, so this stitch right here is the one that tacks down your lining. So I could have deleted that since I didn't line mine, but I just, I thought, oh, that's gonna be cute. Like the look I thought would be cute. Um, so I'm glad I did that because I, I like the way it looks on the actual um, little cover there, but you don't have to do that. Um, so the only other thing is, let me go back, that's something different. Um, what did I use? Okay, the font I used is called Watermelon Margarita. Um, so we're actually going to do the name Nora. And we'll leave it right there where Natalie was. Um, so on mine, since I've already altered this one, the Nora is where it's supposed to be, but let me show you guys what happens when you first do this. So if you just type in your name, and we'll just use that block, block oops, hello. Um, we'll just use that block font for now. There's no reason to change it because we're not going to, oh my goodness, why do I keep grabbing individual letters? Probably because it's so small. Um, there we go. Okay. So the only thing that you need to do now is you need to change when the name uh, stitches out because the very last thing that we're going to stitch is um, all the way around to put the front and the back together. You want your name to be before um, this part. Uh, because you don't want to then stitch through both of these. So all you do is move your name up above the last um, step. I think I did it before the last two steps. Um, and you probably, I need to get rid of that. <clears throat> We're done with that one. Um, you probably um, want to do it before the last two. Oh, maybe I only did it before. Oh, no. Yeah, I did it before the last two steps. Um, so if you are doing a lining, you'll want to um, do it before the last two so that your lining gets tacked down and then it goes around and does the whole shebang. Uh, I mean, you can put it anywhere as long as it's before those last two. Like you could do it before you do your stripes if you wanted. So that's really the only changes that need to be made in Embrilliance. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hoop some, uh, let me get you guys at a different angle here. Okay, so <clears throat> for a lot of my in the hoop projects, I use the, just the hoops that come with the machine. Um, I don't really use them for anything else, but they are pretty good when you have to um, hoop some um, tearaway stabilizer. And this, uh, the size of this fits perfectly in this five by seven. So if you're doing this on a one needle machine, you do need to have at least a five by seven hoop. This won't work on a four by four. Um, but our first stitch uh, step is, oh, you know what? I need to go in and set my stops um, because we want it to stop. Um, after that first one so that we can lay down our vinyl and then we want it to stop oh actually you know what I didn't do that right uh, we want it to stop before we um, do the back side which is the um, pockets 
So we'll do that. Okay. Um, all right, so we're done with that. So let's run that first placement stitch. we have to do is put a um, piece of vinyl on top of this you can just lay it on top um, like I said I don't think here let me move this out so you guys can see better um, I, I didn't really see on the instructions that it had the what size vinyl you need for this particular design but I just made it you know a little bit longer a little bit taller um, and you know, again, this is a five by seven hoop, so something that fits in there. And then the next thing that's going to stitch is just around this to tack it down. So we'll do that real quick. Um, this should not bunch up or anything on you because vinyl's so heavy, but you can kind of keep it laying flat a little bit. Okay, so now it's just gonna go through and do all of our stripes and our name. So I'm gonna run that off camera because that takes a while. Um, so let me go do that real quick. Okay, so that all finished stitching out um, and it looks super cute already. Um, it takes about 12 or 13 minutes to stitch all of this, um, but you don't have to babysit it at all. So you can go do other things. And then the only thing we have left to do is put the actual pockets in. So you flip it over and then you take two more pieces of vinyl. And again, they just need to be a little bit bigger than, than these two sides. I will say you want um, one side to be um, really straight. So use your ruler and your um, rotary cutter if you have one. Um, and get that line really straight because this won't be finished off at all. That'll be where your um, composition notebook gets stuffed in there. So you have to kind of tape it down and tape it down really well. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I um, have done these before where I've had um, trouble with the tape sticking. Um, I just bought some new tape and it's, um, you know, Scotch brand. It's a, you know, name brand other than the um, Dollar Tree stuff that I usually use. So this is working much better. So lesson learned. Splurge on some real tape. I just, stuff like this that gets thrown away, it just kills me. Kills me to spend the money, but it was obviously it's just tape. It's cheap, but still. So tape these fairly well. And then you can even put tape here, it doesn't matter. You can take it off later if we need to. Um, but you know, you want it to be secure enough because you're gonna flip it over and put it back on your machine and you don't want those to flop open. So we're gonna flip it and then let's take it over to the machine. Okay, so it's back on the machine and you know, you can see the vinyl kind of sticking out here on the sides. You just kind of want to feel and make sure it's not bungee or anything. Um, and again, it's going to run that one stitch down the center. Um, again, since we didn't line it, uh, that didn't really do anything. And the final 
step is gonna go around the whole thing and then we're done. We just have to cut it. We're just gonna take it off the hoop. And then since it's tear away, all you gotta do is, oh yeah, I forgot about our tape. So let's flip it over and get all this tape off of here. Some of it will just be cut off anyway, but we'll go ahead and take it off now. Like this one will be totally um, cut off, but that's okay. Okay, I think that's pretty much all of it. So you just take your tear away, and I kind of spread them apart because you really want to um, get as close to the stitching as you can. You should be able to rip it right at the stitching. Let's get that. That, that part wasn't very good. Enough. And on my other one, I just left it here. Um, I guess you could tear that away, but I don't really see. Oh, there's some more tape. Oh, lots more tape. Um, I don't really see any reason to take it off right here. I do kind of clean up these stitches a little bit. Okay, so get um, as much of that as you can, because once you cut it, it's harder to get in there and get that um, tear away stabilizer off of there. So let me get this part right here. So you can just <clears throat> cut around it with scissors. I'm gonna use a straight edge and my rotary cutter um, just because I find that I get better results with that. Um, so I just take it and I, you know, whichever line, I try to do like a quarter inch. So line up a quarter inch with the stitching and then do this all the way around. Make sure I'm kind of at a weird angle here that I can tell that didn't cut all the way. Oh yeah, it did. So again, line it up with my quarter. So you can just leave it like this. I do go ahead, Ooh, that one got off. I'm at such a weird angle with the camera. We'll see if this one turns out okay. So far so good. Okay, one more. Yeah, look at that one. I got way off. Let's try that again. Again, it's just the camera's kind of in the way. Okay, so I still need to clean that up. 
Um, you can leave your corners like this, or you can take your scissors and um, round them a little bit. I rounded the other one, um, so I'll do this one too. There we go. I just stand up for that. Um, let's see. So just get some really sharp scissors and kind of ease off your corners a little bit. Again, you can leave them like that. I mean, that's just as cute. But again, since I did it on the other one, I'll do it on this one. Okay, so there it is. It's all finished. Um, and I might do that corner again. That looks a bit, and they all kind of look. It's hard to film and do this at the same time. Oh well, I'll work on that in a little bit. Um, like I said, I kind of clean up some of these um, threads because those do get seen. But again, this is just a fun little present for my little friends. Um, and then you just take your little notebook here and you have to, you have to kind of start them both at the same time. I don't know if you guys can see that. And there you go. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I have one more of these to make um, so that I can get them mailed off. And then I also, th I'm, I'm, um, let me take this out again. Um, I'm also strategizing a way. I feel like this could kind of be altered into some sort of um, gift card holder um, because I'm sending, like I said, this is a thank you gift. And I'm sending these to the girls and then I'm sending the parents some gift cards. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to play with that a little bit um, and see if I can come up with a way that we can do that. Like a little matching, almost like a little thin wallet. I, years and years ago, I made my brother a um, gift card holder out of vinyl um, on the embroidery machine and with a um, Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Steelers logo on it because that's his favorite of all time uh, and he still talks about that thing he I mean the gift was the gift card um but I put it into a holder and he loves it um so but I wanted one where I could put more than one like almost like a wallet and I I feel like this can be changed into that so I will um try to figure that out and then I'll do a video on that um, so if you're not subscribed, please do. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you real soon. Bye.